Hi, this is Jay Lewis once more with two shortcuts. This time I'm gonna show you real quick how to factory default your Amazon Fire TV stick. And you may need to do so if you are being getting random problems and all of the troubleshooting fails or if you want to clear any downloaded apps and or account information before reselling it or to give it away. I also recommend the factory default if you are planning to follow my tutorial for jailbreaking this device and need free resources like storage, memory and processing power that uh, in some way may be used by all the applications already installed but that you don't use them at all uh, mostly because this depends on pay-per-view account hmm. so let's see the factory default as a fresh start or starting from scratch okay like usual and thinking on first-time users I will show you some basic functions on the remote control that may become handy later and why not starting with the very basic like checking or replacing the batteries now keep in mind that whenever you need to make a selection you will need to click this center button or just click the microphone if you prefer to use the voice command also be aware that this circle or navigation wheel have four pressing points that will help you navigate right and left and up and down so Let's begin. From the menu, navigate to the right and click on settings. Go down and navigate to the right and click on device. Go down one more time and click on reset to factory default. Confirm the reset and wait for the process to be complete. Be aware though that I have to fast forward some sections to short this tutorial, reason why it will take a little longer on your end. So be patient, it should be a couple of minutes, just go relax. After self formatting or optimizing the storage, the fire stick will reboot one more time and then we'll be ready for a second hand. And yes, that was all for the factory default. However, if you want to give it a second chance and proceed with the jailbreaking tutorials or just complete the basic configurations on behalf of somebody else, then keep it connected and get the Fire TV stick remote closer to the device and press and hold the button with the little house for at least 10 seconds to pair the remote with the Fire Stick. Once the remote is synced, Click the play pause button to begin the configuration. Now select your language and then select the Wi-Fi network that you want to be connected to. Input the password. Then click connect. And if the Wi-Fi name and password were correct, the file state will update and will be ready for the next step, which is the registration. select I already have an account if you do have one or click create a new one and follow the registration step on the Amazon website it should only take you a few seconds after created the account come back here and input your Amazon ID which is usually the email you use to register the account and of course the password click on sign in and if the account credentials were validated, then click on Yes, continue as the name registered. In this example, myself. Here, choose if you want Amazon to save your password to easy your way when connecting all the compatible devices for an Amazon. Myself, I like to force my brain to remember, so I will click No. Um, I don't need parental control. However, it is recommended to be enabled if you have a Prime account that is linking to your credit card, just to avoid accidental purchases or downloads by a non-authorized users. But if you're doing the jailbreaking, I recommend you to do this at last because it's very tedious as you will need to input the password several times through the whole process.
Now you can watch or fast forward this intro video and then skip the app installation for streaming option if you like as you can always do it at a later time from the app options. And yes, this was all for the factory defaulting and basic configuration of the Amazon Fire TV stick. Now feel free to use it as it was intended for or look at my channel to shortcuts or website to shortcuts.com the jailbreaking tutorials to push this device beyond its limitations. Like always, thanks for watching and please keep helping others by sharing this video and leaving your suggestions or comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos and projects from 2Shortcuts or from 2Shortcuts.com. Goodbye.